last Sunday, 1st of October, when we had our last open day here at Carroll Crory Cottage and Labyrinth Garden, at the time when we actually had the European premiere of Call of the Forest, or what some people are now calling the beta premiere, people came with lovely gifts for the cottage, for the garden, and someone dropped off all of these lovely bulbs. Was that you, Ina? There was so much going on, I apologize that I don't know who left what, but it's all greatly appreciated. We have a beautiful sunny day here at Carol Crory. It is very windy, but I spent far too long already stuck inside doing admin work. So it's time to go out for the rest of this beautiful afternoon and plant these bulbs. And I've decided there's so many of them that would be lovely to have them around the triple spiral labyrinth. So I'm gonna go outside now and plant these bowls. There's quite a bit of wind about, so I hope you can hear me okay. I'm out here at the Triple Spiral Labyrinth. Going to plant some bulbs uh, in a moment, but what do you think about my new togs? The overalls, amazing. Uh, supposed to be Dutch Army. Got them on eBay, I think it was, 15 euros. And I had to pay a tailor 20 euros to make it fit. Short arms, short legs, and a bit uh, roly-poly. But uh, very comfortable and uh, I was getting fed up uh, with bending over and airing my ass like a plumber. Great. The only problem challenge with this is that uh, when you need a pee I feel a bit like Spider-Man. I will go and get some bulbs in and probably do a little bit of film footage of me playing around with a trowel and showing you how to put a bulb in. Time to start planting all the way around this triple spiral labyrinth. The camera and its tripod forming a nice sundial. I'm not sure if the time is correct on that, I assume it is. But I will plant one bulb and then you'll assume that I do the same all the way around. So here we go. I'm going to remove little stones here because I don't know, I have no idea what these bulbs are of. I assume they're daffodils, but it'd be a nice surprise when I come back and do some footage in the spring when this is all flowering. So here we go. I actually I'm going to move this big one here and whilst I'm here I might as well do some thinning which you might know as weeding. So a little bit of thinning, trowel in there and of course as a first example I hit a big stone. So that was the stone that was in the way. I'll have a use for that somewhere along the road. One bulb, not too deep in. I think I'll move that stone there and do a bit of thinning here and put this big stone there for the time being until I have another use. And I still have this one, which will be a spare stone that I'll pick up later on because all these stones get moved around and used for other purposes, maybe to mark out the new soft root labyrinth which you'll be seeing on future Karakrori journals. So that's me, first bulb in, going to do the rest, talk to you later. One thing you may have noticed in the triple spiral labyrinth, uh, there's some bare areas in the pathway. I had previously sown red clover, white clover and some rye grass. Uh, I'm going to fill in the patches now because this the soil is still warm. It's the last chance I've got. Here I have the bag for the red clover and here I have the rye and phacelia which I'm going to use as a mix to fill up in the pathway and some of them will go a bit stray. The phacelia is very pretty and if it hits the side of the path because it's a kind of a blue to purple flower. Some people know it as the purple tansy. So it's going to look very pretty in its sort of wild state. I've put them into a plastic box I'm going to scatter from. Those sort of little wormy things are really the Euphysalia and some rice seeds and those little brown ones are the clovers. So I'm going to take them outside. In the bare patches
and I'll show you next spring what this looks like. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to visit us at Karakrori Cottage and Labyrinth Gardens, please visit karakrorycottage.com first. For more videos like this, please subscribe below. Until the next Karakrori Journal, happy dreams.